There are two types of oyster you can readily get in the UK. There's the flat or the native oyster and there's the rock or the Pacific oyster. Now the native was the one that we used to fish uh, back in the last century where 10 to 20,000 tonnes were produced annually. A number of severe winters really cut back on the population and in the 1960s the government introduced the rock oyster. And now this is the major oyster you can get in the UK. There's about 20 million cultivated each year. Now they're very, very sustainable. The rock oyster has been rated one out of five by the Marine Stewardship Council for sustainability. Both oysters are incredibly healthy, packed with um, omega-3s, half a dozen contains uh, uh, about the recommended daily amount, and also six oysters is about 65 calories. Um, I'm going to show you how to prepare and uh, present oysters. They make a fantastic first course and what I have here today um, are some natives. Natives are actually in season only when there's an R in the month, so September through to April and you won't be able to purchase them during the summer. We also have rock or Pacific oysters. These are actually farmed extensively and you can buy them year round. So they, they can be and are a good purchase particularly in the summer. For um, when you buy these, the first thing you want to look for is to make sure that the oyster's really nicely tightly shut and that makes them a little tricky to open sometimes but uh, you do need to make sure that they're closed. I have one here that is actually partially opened. That would indicate to me that it's not in good condition and we wouldn't recommend that you uh, attempt to eat uh, an oyster that's uh, in that state. When you buy an oyster, you need to take them home, put them in the fridge, bottom shelf, and keep them cool, but not too cold. And you also need to make sure that you uh, uh, store them rounded side down. If you leave them that side up, what happens is if the oyster opens, it automatically throws out some juice. So always uh, store rounded side down in the fridge. For shucking or opening them, and the word shucking comes from that sort of lovely sort of loopy noise when the, uh, the oyster actually opens up and you break the muscle at the, the base, you've got uh, various implements. I've got a traditional shucking knife here um, which has got a, a guard and a sort of a, a tip uh, and a nice short blade and I'm going to use that to open. You can buy this type of um, oyster shucker which basically goes in at the thinner end of the shell but if you use that you need to be a little bit careful that you don't end up with shards of shell uh, actually through the oyster itself. For my shucker, um, you need to protect your hand pretty carefully when you're doing this and I'd recommend using a cloth just to hold the base of the oyster. And then what I'm going to do is just start at the hinge. Um, I prefer the hinge but you'll find that fishmongers may go in at either 10 to or 10 past the, uh, the oyster either side. But the key thing is to get a really good uh, hold the oyster. So you twist the knife just to get it really, really good grip in there. And once you've done that, you can either twist the knife or just lever up. But when you do this, you need to release the pressure so the knife doesn't sl uh, slip and cut your hand. So in and lever up to remove or loosen the top shell. I'm then going to just take the knife across there just to release the top part of the shell and that can come away. Be very careful that you don't lose all that fantastic juice in there and double check for little shards of shell uh, which aren't particularly pleasant to crunch on. So you want to make sure uh, those are removed. To make it easy to eat these, you can just take the tip of your knife and just release the oyster from the bottom part of the shell and then they're ready to serve. Today I've got a bed of samphire which is like a, a sea spinach as such and we're going to just uh, serve it on that. We've just blanched that samphire in a little bit of boiling water and traditionally to eat them in the Roman style which is probably very European is to eat the oyster raw and very classically just a red wine vinegar and a little bit of very finely chopped shallot just to spoon over those or just a little squeeze of lemon is another option. So that would be a, a perfect way to serve them raw. If you've never eaten an oyster before, the next option is to actually try cooking them. And we have here just a bowl of, or a platter, of oysters Rockefeller. This is a very traditional American way of presenting cooked oysters and probably uh, it's based back in the time when American Indians would have cooked these in the embers of a fire and therefore in the States it's quite a tradition to actually eat these cooked. With oysters Rockefeller, it's very traditional. It's just a bit of chopped spinach, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, just on top of the oyster, and then baked in a really hot oven. You can uh, do a variation on the theme with that, a little bit of harissa paste, just a little bit of Parmesan, and, and they make a fantastic starter with a really lovely piece of warm, crusty bread.